Hi guys! So today I'm gonna tell you how I found my style and I'll share a few tips and tricks on how to find your own style quicker and more efficiently. So firstly let me tell you a little bit about my story and how I found my style. I started painting when I was like 5 years old and I studied art in art school for 10 years then it was two years of art high school and I painted pretty much my whole life. When I was studying painting I was always told what to paint in exact way and I didn't have um, an opportunity to express myself or to paint whatever I want. I was always told what to paint at that time. So when I started painting on my own at home it was really difficult at first and I was really frustrated about what to paint and how because I was always I always had a plan in art school and teacher always told me what to paint and it was a bit frustrating to to don't know what to do with your art but then I, rea I realized that finally for the first time in my life I can paint whatever the heck I want and it was amazing, really. So this period of my life was about seven years ago when I started painting on my own and I started just exploring different mediums, or different styles and subjects. It was really fun. So I explored all the different mediums I could think of. I tried watercolors, acrylics, gouache, oil paint, I did drawing for quite a while, just everyth everything you can think of. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so at that time I tried all the different mediums. I tried subjects like portrait, painting people, um, I tried still life, which I was really good at in art school. I also tried landscapes and flowers, which uh, with time became my own style. And I just tried a lot and experimented. And this, I think, is the most important part when you want to find your own style. So with time, I've had a few subjects I was really interested in and I was painting a lot these subjects like florals and landscapes. So my style just de developed itself and I think the most important part in this is to create art you're really passionate about and create art that you really want to create. And this artwork has to be your own and unique and you shouldn't really copy someone else's work. So I experimented with my own style for about seven years since I moved to Finland and I would say that it took me about three, maybe four years to find my own style, maybe even less. At some point I was really looking for it, I was reading all the blog posts about how to find your style and I was really determined to find my own style. And then I just painted, I painted a lot and I painted what I wanted to paint, what I felt excited to paint and my style just developed itself and people on Instagram were uh, were they DMing me that they love my style and then I realized that I have a style <laughs> like it was really weird to hear from people that they like my style because I haven't even considered that I have my own style <laughs> at that time so yeah the style develops itself and it has to be natural and it will happen before you know it, really. <laughs> Let me tell you a few things that I learned along the way on how to find your style quicker and how to really focus on your attention to, to finding your own art style. 
you want your own style to be unique and you don't want to copy anyone else's work. Copying other artists or famous painters work is great if you want to learn how to how to paint in oils for example or if you want to learn a skill but if you want to know how to find your own style it has to be your own like you can't copy Van Gogh's work and expect to find your own style if that makes any sense you have to create your own unique art create artwork you are inspired by and you're excited to make. If you don't like landscapes and you want to find your style and you're painting a landscape, it's not gonna help you. But if you're really interested in trying painting people, for example, you should definitely go for it and try all the subjects and mediums that you're interested in, that excites you, that you wanna try. So just try whatever excites you and makes you want to paint or draw. Create art for yourself. Don't create art to sell it to someone or for your mom or friends. Create art that you want to create for yourself, not for someone else. It really makes a huge difference in your creative practice and in finding your own style. Your style will be an expression of who you are, what excites you, what inspires you, and it will be uniquely yours if you do this right. So you need to focus, you need to really listen yourself and think about what excites you and focus on this. Really, um, when I was finding my own style, I really liked painting florals and landscapes and I focus, focused my attention on this and my style just developed itself in a very short amount of time. Create a lot of artwork. This is like the main thing that will help you to find your own style. You just need to create a ton of work, work that inspires you work that it excites you, you need to try everything, like every medium you can, you could think of or you're slightly interested in, you need to try it in every subject. Then you focus on things that you gravitate towards and things that you like more and with time you have less things that you like and more things that you don't want to paint or draw. So with time you'll have a few topics you like to paint and maybe one or two mediums. And this is pretty good for your own style. Finding your own style is really fun. You get to experiment, you get to try new mediums, new subjects. You just create a lot of art. And I would advise you to not focus on the quality because when you're looking for your own style, you try a lot of different mediums and to be good at a certain medium, you need to invest like 10,000 hours. <laughs> so you need to really inve invest your time and energy into, into the medium. So don't expect to try a new watercolor, for example, which you haven't painted before with and to expect that you will be good at this. Just try different different mediums and see what works for you and what not. When I tried acrylics, I was just really bad at this. I was quite frustrated at the time because I, firstly, I bought a really cheap acrylics and secondly, I added a ton of water. I painted almost like with watercolors or gouache because I used gouache before for many years and it was my medium of choice. So I had quite a few mistakes with acrylics but I was determined that I'm gonna make it work and in about a year I, I learned how to paint with acrylics by myself and Right now I can say that acrylics is my favorite medium over all of them 
and I would choose acrylics over any other medium in time. So I hope this was helpful. It's not that easy as it looks to find your own style and the style develops itself. When you practice a lot of different styles and mediums, try new th things and with time you'll have just a few favorite subjects and mediums and the style develops itself, as I said before. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this.